Ace Megashul and his daughter arrested today. Ace Megashul and his daughter arrested for dodgy R150 million RDP housing scam Ace Megashul, the African National Congress Secretary General and outgoing Free State Premier, has been caught meddling in a housing project to ensure that a company partly owned by his daughter scored contracts worth R150M from his provincial government. News 24 can today reveal perhaps the most damning details to date of Magish Yuli's direct involvement in government contracts that benefit his own family to the detriment of his province's poorest and most marginalized citizens. Our investigation shows, Megashul and senior provincial officials interfered in a housing project near the eastern free state town of Bethlehem. After the initial contractor was booted off the project, the provincial government appointed a company, in which Magish Yuli's daughter is a shareholder. The company, Unital Holdings, was appointed to build RDP houses without a tender process and has so far been paid nearly R70M by the Provincial Department of Human Settlements. Megashul promised locals that they would receive quality housing in a safe environment, but those living in the new houses say they are worse off than before. Their homes don't have electricity, water, or working toilets, leaving them exposed to the hazards of pit toilets and open holes containing human waste. The saga involves Magish Yuli's direct involvement in the appointment of a Chinese company called Unital Holdings to construct 1050 RDP houses on a plot of land to the north of Bethlehem. News 24 was able to determine that Unital's shareholders are Ji Unliang Li, a mysterious Chinese South African businessman who seems to have disappeared, and though Ko Malambe, Magish Yuli's daughter. We revealed in January that Malambe was reunited with the Premier in 2011 and subsequently scored R9M in a dubious property deal with the Free State Development Corporation FDC. Malambe appears to have read queries sent to her on WhatsApp, but she did not respond. We could not track Lee down for comment on any of his available contact details. Megashul strongly denies that he had a hand in Unital's appointment, but has not responded to queries about whether he knew his daughter owned shares in Unital. The Honorable Premier is not at all involved in the awarding of tenders or any related processes. The Honorable Premier was therefore not involved in the appointment of the service provider with regards to the Bethlehem RDP project, his office said in a statement. But the involvement of Megashul and his provincial government is detailed in court documents and in minutes from council meetings at Bethlehem's Dilabeng local municipality. It is further corroborated by photographs and by several sources familiar with the matter. The mysterious Mr. Lee the story starts in early 2012, when Megashul and then Human Settlements Mek Ali Mlamli, currently the mayor of Mangong, visited residents of the Silalui informal settlement near Bethlehem. Megashul and Mlamli promised the residents that they would be moved to brand new houses in a nearby development. About a year later, in November 2013, Megashul and several mechs officially launched the Bacon Park RDP project. The tract of land for the new houses lies to the north of Bethlehem's town center and is also known as Vogelfontein. We don't want to build a Kasi township here, we want to build a human settlement. We should have schools, recreational places, community halls, and many others, a local newspaper quoted the premier as telling excited Silaliwi residents at the launch event. Yeah.